Where are we? Ireland. Dublin. Yes. <clears throat> so we're in Ireland. Dublin, Ireland. We're about to go down for breakfast and then um, we're going to go do the city tour. Look how good this light is. It is very Fabulous. Nice. Anyway, so we're about to go have breakfast. So see you guys down there. So I already took a bite, but I only got croissants. Um, I got a little bit. But delicious breakfast. Well, where do you want to go? We're on the uh, hop on, hop off bus. That's alright. Okay. Go five minutes. Alright. See ya. So we only did it for one day. Um, Georgian squares so and Georgian houses are the same. Like really five squares and hundreds of Georgian houses. Um, now if you look to the windows on your left hand side here on the ground floor, you'll notice that they are uh, so bigger than the ones yeah. at the top of the but building. They're supposed to be they get smaller as they go up. Tomorrow. The reason they've done this was a tax on glass. Glass tax. The, the more glass you had in your building, um, the more taxes you paid. And the old saying, they like like probably get from this tax. We yeah, don't know what we're going to do. I don't know if we're going to try to get out of here. Top floor, small windows, the nanny walks, looking after the children, 10 hours a day, middle two floors. Georgian quarters, sitting rooms, dining rooms, parlors, bathrooms and bedrooms, Happy ground floor, recreation and reception. Today and down in the cellar where the servants were. Servants were first in in the morning and last out at night. Right in front of St. Stephen's Green, the biggest of the Georgian squares, it was one of three ancient commons of the old city of Dublin, closed down in 1664. It remained closed right up until the early 1800s. It became overgrown, it became dangerous. It just was not a good place to take a shortcut. Um, it was then when, when one of Arthur Guinness's family, Lord Ardalon, he actually paid from his own fortune to landscape this area and then the gentleman gave it back to the people of Dublin. It hasn't changed at all, it still has three and a half kilometres of walkway, a bandstand, a duck pond and 22 acres of land on your left. Now the next stop is seven, if you fancy a little walk, it's a nice morning and so is the green, it's a nice place to take a walk. Straight in front is the glass dome, that's the Grand Street Shopping Centre, to the right of it is Grantham Street, very busy shopping area, here at this side of the city, and it's pedestrianised after 12 o'clock when all the deliveries are done. Now, the next stop, number 7. On the right hand side here you have the smallest museum in Dublin, if you're going in there showing your ticket you get a discount. After 29 minutes, you will have learned a lot about people of the past in Trinity College. Again, the Bank of Ireland. Now, when I was a child, I used to walk by here a lot with my grandmother. My grandmother and grandfather lived in Dublin here, 15 minute walk from here, in a big tenement house. Eight families in the house there was. This is 1960s now, bear in mind. One toilet shared with eight families. Great big old Georgian house. Do you want to go back to the bus? Yeah, we can go back to the bus.
from Germany. So we got here last night or yesterday in the morning trying to ditch Hurricane Ophelia. But <clears throat> we got here like 11 a.m. We got a hotel. And we realized like maybe we should have stayed at the hurricane and have an experience of a hurricane. So we just decided, you know, it's time to go home. We explored last night. I forgot to take the camera. So my bad. Uh, but there's really nothing to see. Can you put the screen down? train station right over there so cool there's really not much here I mean I think where all the historic stuff is is like Munich or Berlin we're in Frankfurt 